How are y'all? Are y'all all right? Shell shot. Huh? Shell shot. Shell shot. I didn't even do that. <laughs> I thought you were. Okay, I thought I had just said that. I will then. I'll end with that. Um, so I'll do, what, three more of them? Good. Armstrong can't park on Congo Square now. Because they're there now. From canal to the fairgrounds, this government doesn't repair towns, it tears down the self-concepts of the descendants of ex-slaves. While ex fema chief Brown still gets paid, and George Bush waves from the skies, he flies by, and Air Force One gets as close to the sun as he can manage. And Barbara Bush has whispered that the tragedy is working out to our advantage, but how do you assess the damage when neglected levees let the lake walk so the river walk and talk is cheap to our double up and repeat ex fema chief Brown was still getting paid? While the price of oil was rising with the tides and the children of ex-slaves still survive and the wave crashes into the attic and his automatics in the hands of juvenile soldiers that told you to back that ass up and keep bumping you against the wall before they march off to the cadence of they the fools and the pimped out Gucci suits. That we have permission to shoot first, ask questions later, curfew at nine, bringing Cajun Moon on a crossfader. What do you say to people who have no homes? Astrodome or Superdome or move in with a relative, but then that's relative when you have to move from Inno to Alaska or Utah and you saw how they feel about you on the nightly news. And no place like home, so it's gotta be the shoe that moves us from evacuees to refugees. They might as well burn the body of King Oliver in effigy and do a second line to the little rascals and the rebirth of George Bush's legacy is FM. And, and pass the blow, cause um, after the show is they after the party, and after the party, you know, still ain't the priority that I rock is. Be a witness, energy company profits ain't never been this strong. I swear, the heads of the top three oil companies must have brought gifts to Bush's manger when he was born. Mm -hmm. I always wonder, like, what's in the mind of poetry fans, poetry listeners? Seems like y'all, like, or we, because I love, you know, I love poetry and sometimes I hate it. When it's um, serendipitous, like when it really is, is beyond what I expected, there's nothing like it. But quite often, uh, it's so repetitive, you know? And that's, that's when I hate, I, 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 Severely dislike when people don't show up to a stage and provide the type of energy that only they can provide. When they provide with anyone could, what they heard before, with uh, I heard a hundred times or a thousand times, and that's, as you might imagine, what's most frequent. But when somebody steps up there with something original, something that's from their heart, something that no one else could have said or thought of in the way that they thought of or communicated in the way that they communicated it because of the pain that they've survived, then it's, it's beautiful. You know? There's nothing like it then. I was talking. <laughs> <laughs> was talking to you. It's not even like a spill. That was That's the truth, though. me telling you <laughs> yeah. how I feel. Okay. Don't you hear what happens? <laughs> <laughs> the sky is a sea of darkness when there is no sun to light the way. The sky is a sea of darkness when there is no sun to light the way. When there is no sun to light the way, they told me it was incorrect to say that I died. They said what actually happened is I had a near-death experience and I was protected. And I don't pray to the Son of Man, I pray to the God that the Son of Man prayed to. I pray to the God that created the sun, you dig? I pray to the God that created the sun, moons, and stars, you heard? I pray to the one that is and always will be, all that is and never was, the solitary, authentic whole in any and all existence, the only proper use of the concept of one. And the creator has a master plan, and Armageddon is soaring more rapidly, and when I said I don't believe in hell, I was technically correct, because I didn't believe it, but now I've seen it, so I have to receive it. In fact, to be accurate, I've seen a few of them. I'm not talking about hell on the earth, and those who perpetuate hell on the earth will eventually learn that the actual hells wax far, far worse. And if you want to know if you're living right here, I, I can actually explain it to you simply right here. All you have to do is give and receive love and place nothing above God and your family and recognize you're just a reflection of God's love so there can be no use of big egos or petty vanity. 
And celebrities are like meaningless sex because often they're just distractions. And if you believe I've achieved any level of success, then you too should study the laws of attraction. And conversely, when celebrities try to sell our children on self-hate, it's them same laws of attraction that magnetize us to want to smack them. And you can tell them, I'm very easy to find online. My tour schedule is always available at talamacy.com, you heard? If they approach me and know not God, then their brags about crime best have been true word for fucking word. What if this is God's work as a rhetorical question, and I pray to the God that manifests beyond X, Y, Z, and T axes. I pray to the God that manifests in infinite dimensions, the one that controls descent and ascension, the one that controls darkness and light, the one that controls opaque and translucent. And my frenemies keep telling me not to do it. Don't tell people to pray to the one invisible God. When they've already been taught to pray to Christ, but like the last poet said, time is running out, and our situation is too seriously urgent for any of us to not be teaching right. And if you think I'm teaching wrong, I'm open-minded, and that's your choice. And if you really believe it, you should hit the streets and spread your gospel and your voice. But I don't get to tell people to pray to a man and a ghost. If my frenemies don't like it, it's okay, because like Stevie Wonder said, they won't go when I go. In fact, when they go, they probably won't go where I go. Armageddon is not moving slowly. I was created by God to praise God. Men were trained by men to praise a man, and Armageddon is in swarm more rapidly, and Cataclysm is in swarm more rapidly, and Apocalypse is in swarm more rapidly, and the sky is a sea of darkness when there is no sun to light the way. The sky is a sea of darkness when there is no sun to light the way. When there is no sun to light the way, there is hell to be. And I wasn't given harmony or melody. I was given symphony with timpani drums and it simply comes in peace and love that will essentially become what teachers are of and eventually get to strum a chord that reaches above and leave it the future poets to herald the sum of what each of us was. So how I gotta move, what I gotta say, when I gotta break, where I gotta take, why I gotta prove parlance and cadence to make them all stare at me like Edgar Allan Poe's raven. I don't even know what, if they know what I be saying, but they think I'm popular, so they copy what I'm saying. And I get it from the store, so I just be obeying. And I, they can even approach me when I sleep. I can still tell when to stop and when to start, because I can feel when the pressures in their hearts say when. All true fears say lose. All true beliefs say when. Junior me. God and fear do not occupy the same space, and living love is the message is our job. If you've ever felt any twinge of fears, because none of us ever was or ever will be God. But if you're full of fear, go, just recognize which you've been exposed to was a modern meditation for focus. And when you see me looking at the sky, I'm looking past the sky. Because the sky is a sea of darkness. When there is no sun to light the way, the sky is a sea of darkness. When there is no sun to light the way, when there is no sun to light the way, we pull together around me. When there is no sun to light the way, we honor life, Ife. When there is no sun to light the way, there is no day, there is no day. It is so. Ashe. Ashe. So I'm going to leave you with this last piece. And um, thank you for listening to me for 30 damn minutes. That's like, <laughs> that's fascinating to me. But um, this is the last poem I'll do. And um, I appreciate the fact that you allowed me to share my thoughts with you. Oh, I should mention, I have um, CDs, I have books. Uh, I have a book of essays. And I like to mention that when I 